A very good day to my beloved lecturer, Mr. Mohammed Farik bin Ibrahim. Today, for the computer programming subject, we have done a program design, which is a budget tracker. Well, before going any further, let me introduce my teammates. My teammates are Mohammed Ami Irfan bin Mohammed Shukri, me, myself, Roshantan Anak Zaki Ranganathan, Musin Amizi bin Nur Rosli, and Mohammed Nazarin bin Barudin. Let us look into the introduction. Program design. There are three areas of activity before designing a program. Firstly, we have to understand the program. From understanding the program, we get to create a model. Uh, when we are creating a model, they, that includes the flowchart, the program design, maybe the interface, the graphic user interface, and also the pseudocode, which helps us to develop and test the data. When we are developing a program, we code the program in C++ and uh, by using <coughs> Def C++. And after developing the program, we have to test the uh, data so that the program is aligned with our uh, developed program. Next, let us look into the project background. Well, every problem, there must be a solution. Well, in, in this case, during pandemic, budgeting is a very crucial part in life. And in times of pandemic, we have to track our expenses from A to Z, maybe from our spendings, our entertainment, and many other things. When there's no budget, budget tracking, problems will arise such as savings, exhaustion, and also overspending. When we overspend, we might have a very hard time for the following month. And maybe in case there's an emergency during the middle of the month, we might have a very big problem. Well, with all these problems in our mind, we came up with a problem solution. We came up with a solution to keep track of our budget by creating a budget tracker. It enables us to be careful with our spending, enables us to adjust our spending according to our budget. Well, when there's a budget, we get to spend freely and we also get to control our expenses. Assalamualaikum to Sfarik. My name is Mosin Amili Ben Norosli for 2BMMHS Section 1 Slash 2. Today I'm going to present about the program design for our coding. First we have input. In the input we have all the expenses which are within the month and the budget limit for all expenses. For process, we have the program calculus each category, allocated budget in table, form is displayed, and let limit of spending is displayed. For our output, we have allocated budget display and a text file is displayed. For the next slide, I'm going to explain about the type of program we use in the budget tracker program. For our function declaration, we are using void and int. For the variable type or variable name, we use int and double. In int, we use input, expense, budget and month. For double, we are using budgets and expense. Next, we are using the library. First is limits, IO stream, IO manip, string, and F stream. For the repetition, we are using while, and selection, we are using if. Next slide, I'm going to present about our design process. First, we are going to problem definition. Second, we design our program. Third, we're going to code, uh, develop our code, and fourth, we are going to test if it if it's valid or not, and lastly, we are going to document all our process in designing this code. First, I'm going to talk about our problem definition. In a time of pandemic and less uh, economic times, budgeting is a very crucial part of our daily life. Sometimes we lose track of our budget as there is no proper tracking and we tend to overspend making us lose track of our budget. When there is no budget tracking or allocation is done, in the beginning we might see our finance depleting and it will exhaust our spending budget. Then we come up with a problem solution is within this problem in mind, we have come up with an easy solution to keep track of our budget in the beginning. It's not only help us to take precaution steps towards spending, but this also help us to be in more control of our spending. This program design enables us, enable us to track our budget by inserting our allocated monthly spending or salary 
along with the estimated budget for each our expenses for our spending budget with the display monthly budget we are able to track our budget accordingly and adjust our spending next i'm going to explain our program design we have used the I ipo approach ipo stands for input program and output to design the program accordingly we have created a slow code and a flowchart to align the program according to our needs as uh, next we are going to explain about the code development with the flow of the program known to us we are able to code the program in accordance to our needs we have created the, the needed input to produce expected output after the process after the processing for the test and validation to test our program whether it does it run accordance with our flow we have tested a few cases to verify it and lastly for the documentation process we have documented the approach and steps taken to code development that's all for me thank you and assalamualaikum uh, hello my name is Muhammad Nadri Ben Baharudin with number metric B092010034 here, I'm going to explain about the program brief that include the pseudo code and also the flowchart. So, first of all, uh, we will start the program and we will insert the number of months that we want to calculate for the budget and expense. Then we uh, will fill in the we'll get the monthly budget for the months and uh, next we will get a uh, monthly spend for uh, the month then the program will calculate the allocated budget uh, for the month and it will the output will display if the budget is over or within uh, our expense next uh, the data will be saved into a text file and then uh, end program so for the flowchart we will start with input name and from that uh, from the salary we cannot choose yes or no if no we we'll, it will go to end and if yes we will continue to budget spend that is uh, consists of housing loan house household expense uh, car loan and food expense and also uh, clothing expense and other expense that we need and then it will display the budget that uh, tell before this it will calculate the allocated budget for the month and it will display the budget if, if it is over the budget and then uh, end program hi and assalamualaikum i am amir irfan number metric b092010491 so I will present program coding and program output. So without waiting anymore, let me take you into the budget tracker demo to test and validate the program. So first is testing. Does the code work as per the design? Second, validation. Does the program run the required process? Third, testing. Does the program save uh, a text file as, uh, as an output? Port, validation, the location of the text file and final output. So let me show you the program code first. After that, I will test the program together with you guys. So in this code, will be a program consists of main program and minimum of three sub function. And our program has four sub function. The main program we explain the function of the program entirely. The main program will be in closed loop, where the program will always run in continuously until the user requests to the exit program. Within this main program, the user should be able to choose the sub program. So we start with uh, stack include limit, include IO string, include IO many, include string, include F. So after that, you can see the struct. Before you can create a structure variable, you need to define its data type. To define a struct, the struct keyword is uh, used. So you can see the struct keyword. 
after that you can see the sub function void so our uh, sub function declare outside of main so main function not uh, logic is not uh, disorder after that you can see the void describe for again this is uh, display uh, instruction how to use program output after that void get man how many man you like to analyze so you can put how many you want to analyze your budget and expand if you enter the invalid number then we have see out enter valid input so that you can see void get man get monthly budget so this is uh, display the budget and you enter your budget uh, using this uh, provider same as void uh, get monthly expand so after that void get monthly report you can see the receipt total budget and expand uh, for see out void get monthly report so we show for the month you are over budget what okay, after that i will you uh, we show you the output so this is our uh, our program output it show the main this main display show how uh, instruction how to use this program and after that show the how many months would you like to have analyzed first is uh, we put uh, the wrong input okay then it will show please enter fail input okay i put one month and after that the budget uh, display will show up and you just put your budget with list provided and i put the budget 100 300 300 300 300 and let's see 100 so after finish uh, put your budget the expand display will show up so that you put the expand 300 okay so you finish your expand okay once all the required input is inserted, the output shows so. You can see the monthly report. Is it uh, you over budget or not? And the output uh, show your monthly is over budget. So that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, it is going to explain. I'm going to explain about the question. First of all, uh, from the program, uh, we can apply core aspect of the C++ language inside our uh, coding to do the project that is for the budget and uh, expense calculator and, that, and then uh, we are using the IPO method of program design that is input, process and also output method and then uh, we also learn to develop the pseudocode and flowchart uh, other than that, we also uh, learn the usage of library to create an uh, efficient program so other than that uh, we also troubleshoot the error rising from the uh, coding process there was many error uh, that we faced during uh, writing the coding and then uh, we also can add identify the function and how to export the data to output file as uh, from the from the uh, program from the calculator budget we will get uh, an output file that will show the overall view of the data from the budget calculator okay that's all for me thank you